So today I'm gonna take you on a tour of my apartment here in Hanoi, Vietnam. So I live in the center of Hanoi, surrounded by all the hustle and bustle and noise this city is famous for. But I'm lucky that I lived on a little side alley that isn't quite as chaotic as the surrounding neighborhood. I've mentioned before that I travel with Remote Year and they're the ones that take care of my apartment, but you can find a similar studio like I have in this same neighborhood on Airbnb for a monthly rate of around three to $600 a month. So it's very affordable. Just about anybody on any budget could live here. The building I'm staying in is kind of like a hotel and similar to a lot of buildings in Hanoi. It's one of those slim buildings that has two shotgun apartments on each floor. My building is eight floors and it even has these little parakeets that welcome you. Like I said, it's similar to a hotel. There's a reception desk and they've been really helpful and very friendly. My building has an elevator and unlike the elevators in Latin America that I didn't really like to take because they were pretty sketchy, the elevator in this building is pretty modern so I usually take it. It's about 95 degrees right now with a feels like of over 100 and there's no air conditioning in the building. There is in the apartments but not in the building so I prefer to take the elevator instead of taking the steps up four flights. So this is probably gonna be one of my shorter apartment tours. I don't have a roommate this month. I'm in a studio and just about everything is in one room. The only other room is the bathroom. This apartment actually has a bathtub. I don't really take baths and I have this really nice rainfall shower head. So it's kind of going to waste on me, but I'm sure others would enjoy having that. It's a nice modern bathroom. I'm really happy with it. This apartment has a washer and a dryer, which is great. I don't really need a dryer because I wear mostly merino wool, so I hang dry my stuff, but it's still a nice thing to have. The apartment comes with this nice modern refrigerator, but I eat out usually, so all I throw in here is some water, some Cokes, some watermelon, and that's about it, so it's perfect for me. I also have this TV. I don't watch much TV, but I will occasionally put it on YouTube and watch some travel videos so I can get some inspiration. This is just your standard studio apartment kitchen. I don't cook much, so I don't really need it. It has an induction stovetop, which is great because unlike places with like gas stoves, they kind of take up counter space. This one does not. I also have this futon here that serves as a couch and a fan to help the AC move around the apartment. The apartment has a standard queen size bed, which is great, perfect for me. Some people don't like studios, but I actually prefer them. And since I'm a full-time traveler, that actually works out for me because studios usually cost less than one bedrooms when you're looking on Airbnb or booking.com. I have this little outdoor patio, I guess kind of outdoor patio. It's in this little vestibule area. I don't have much of a view. And like I said, it's pretty hot here. So I don't really spend much time out here. Plus, like my place in Mexico City, which I just left, I have a view of the garage, I believe. I really like this studio. I think it's probably one of my favorite remote year apartments so far. Okay, so that was a tour of my apartment here in Hanoi, Vietnam. Uh, please comment below, tell me what you think. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Kevin. I spent 20 years in the military. I retired, I went to law school and became a corporate lawyer. I got tired of my nine to five. So I quit my job to travel the world. And that's what I do. I travel full time making these videos. So if you enjoy that type of content, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching.